It was his final song. Prince brought the crowd to its feet a week ago today at Atlanta's Fox Theater. The music legend died this morning. And this is a live look. People gathered outside Paisley Park, Prince's home and recording studio. They've been there all day, paying their respects to the music legend. Prince regularly played in the Bay Area. ABC 7 News anchor Eric Thomas joins us now from Oakland's Paramount Theater, where many fans recently saw Prince perform. Eric? Larry, that was March 4th. Inside, it was just Prince, a piano, and a microphone. Outside of the marquee, this is what it says tonight. Our hearts are broken. Prince, rest in peace. That reflects the grief felt by many Bay Area music fans. Prince drew on wide musical influences to write his songs. That means this Oakland-based tribute band had to be just as musically eclectic to get that sound. Rock, jazz, pop, funk, blues, everything. Everything is just about what Prince could do on his records. Write, arrange, produce, sing, and play all the instruments. That's why Berkeley's Amoeba Music expects to be busy. Well, people definitely come in and buy a lot of his music. I mean, especially with somebody with a, such a, fan, a big fan base. Inside Amoeba, shopper Pat McCullough wishes he had spent the money to attend Prince's concert in Oakland last month. And so I have to do the next best thing and buy the printed stuff. In addition to his performance, Prince also took in a Golden State Warriors game at Oracle, one of the last times anyone here would see him. That's why it was an emotional morning for Chris and Alva Valley of Fremont. He even called off some meetings at work so he could stay home and keep track of the latest developments. Between them, the couple have seen at least 10 Prince concerts over the years, including that appearance in Oakland last month. You know, he was incredible. He was just as inspirational as he's always been. When he comes, he brings it. Um, that's one thing about Prince I think everybody loves. You can pay your own tribute to Prince tonight. It's easy. Get out and listen to Prince. <laughs> In Oakland, Eric Thomas, ABC 7 News. Generations of music fans are sharing their memories of Prince tonight, and that includes people in Hollywood grieving after the death of a pop superstar. I think it was like a state of shock. It's like, it's like one of those things when Michael left. You think about where you was when you got the news. Sad, mostly. Most people are upset and surprised. You know, he was so young that we weren't really expecting it to happen. He was just on another level, you know, uh, as far as a uh, musician. It was, it's, it's just a loss to the entire community. A complete shock, and many aspiring musicians pass by this memorial with a wreath outside the entrance to the Guitar Center store on Hollywood Sunset Boulevard. And we've posted this tribute to Prince on our ABC7 News Facebook page. You can share it on your Facebook news feed to express your sympathy. And Prince fans will want to set their DVRs for tonight's edition of Nightline. It'll be devoted to Prince's life and his legacy. Nightline airs at 12.37 a.m. here on ABC7. Also making news today, Volkswagen and the U.S. government reached a deal today to fix or buy back nearly half a million diesel cars that cheated emissions tests. The settlement was